London is the largest city in Europe. It has a population of nearly 9 million people and is growing fast. Our transport system has to grow too. Because lots of people live in London, it can get very busy. Even though there are lots of different types of transport, you will see many people using buses, tubes and trains, especially during rush hour, trying to get where they need to go. London faced the same problem over 150 years ago. Back then, horse-drawn carriages, trams and cabs carried people around the city. As the population grew, the streets became overcrowded. The answer was to build underground tunnels beneath the streets of the city. The tunnels would house new railway lines that would carry large numbers of people. Today, this network is called the London Underground. The digging of tunnels for new transport services continues today. Crossrail is building a new railway for London and the South East. When it is finished, passengers will make over 200 million journeys per year helping even more people to get in and around the city quickly and easily. The new railway will run through 42 kilometres of new underground tunnels. These tunnels are bigger than most tube tunnels as they will carry larger trains and more people. They are being dug right beneath your feet. So, how is it done? Firstly, a plan is drawn up. This means weaving a route around tube lines, sewers and services, being very careful not to disturb the city's historic buildings. Then, the digging begins. Eight huge tunnel boring machines do a lot of the hard work. Each machine is as high as four London taxis stacked on top of each other, longer than a football field and heavier than three full jumbo jets. The power of these machines is huge. The same force would be needed to lift 2,900 taxis. Like a giant underground factory, the machines cut away the earth, remove the muck, and create a sealed concrete tunnel as they go. These machines are operated by a team of up to 20 skilled workers. They spend 12 hours a day deep underground, driving the tunnels forward. When the machines have finished, they will have excavated 6 million tonnes of earth and installed 250,000 concrete segments. The tunnels they leave behind will be over 6 metres in diameter, some of the biggest rail tunnels ever created under the city. Underground spaces like station walkways and platform tunnels are built in a different way. With less uniform tunnels, earth is mined by highly skilled workers using a variety of machines. The ground is then sprayed with reinforced concrete to form tunnel walls 65 centimetres thick. These will be the tunnels and passageways that you will use when the stations are open in 2018. Crossrail has up to 14,000 people working on the project at its peak. This includes more than 400 apprentices who have learned new skills working on the project. We have to make sure everyone is working in a safe environment and are skilled and trained to do the job. That's why we set up Tuca. The Tunnelling and Underground Construction Academy is like a school. It teaches people the skills they need for underground construction. How to use the machines, work in underground spaces and how to work safely. You never know, one day you might find yourself working on something as big as Crossrail. Protecting the environment while tunnels are built is extremely important. Much of the earth and chalk excavated by the machines is recycled to help build wildlife reserves in Essex. Animals and birds disturbed by the project have been moved to safe new homes. Historic artefacts found when digging under London have been studied by archaeologists to learn more about London's past. London's largest and newest underground tunnels will be finished in 2015. Over the next three years, tracks will be laid, train systems will be installed, stations will be fitted out and new trains will be delivered. By 2018, the new railway will be running through central London. You, along with millions of other people, will be able to travel through the new tunnels 
and see how Building Underground continues to help London grow and help you to get around.